We are given a right angle triangle with the circle inscribed in it in such a way that the circle touches the right angle triangle at three points. On the hypotenuse, this length is three units and this other length is five units. We are to find the area of the triangle. Solution. To find the area of this triangle, we need to use the formula for finding area of a triangle, which is half base times height. So this is our base and we are not given the length of the base. And this is also the height. We are not given the length of the height. We are to find the height and the base of this triangle. So to find the base and the height, first, let us label our triangle. Supposing this is triangle ABC, this point is A, here is B, and here is C. And let us also label the points where the circle touches the triangle. Let us call this point D, E, and F. Let us take a look at this theorem, the theorem of tangent and radius. Tangent is a straight line that touches a circle at one point without crossing it. The important property of tangent is that it is always perpendicular to the radius at the point where it touches the circle. Now, if we draw a line from the center of this circle to point E, then it will be perpendicular to this line because this side is tangent to the circle. Also, if we draw a radius like this, then this will be 90 degrees because these two angles are 90 degrees and this is also 90 degrees. Then this angle will be 90 degrees. This length is the radius of this circle. Let's call it R. And this also the radius of this circle. Let's call it R2. This quadrilateral is a square and a square has all the sides equal. So if this is R, this length will be R. And if this length is R, this length will also be R. Now, we have this length and this length to be R. Next, we need to find the length, which is called EC, this line. We will use a theorem known as two tangent theorem. It says that if two tangents are drawn to a circle from a single external point, this tangent will always be equal in length. Back to our diagram. C is our external point, and these two line segments will act as a tangent to this circle. This length will be equal to this length. This length is 5, so this length will also be 5. Similarly, our external point here is A, and these two line segments also act as tangents to this circle. This length will be equal to this length, so this length is 3 units, and this length will also be 3 units. Now, the length of line AB will be R plus 3 units. And the length of BC will be R plus 5 units. The length of AC will be 3 plus 5, which is 8 units. Now, we are going to use the formula for finding area of the triangle. And we are going to substitute the length we've gotten into them. Now, area of this triangle ABC is half base times height. So when we substitute the values, we have 1 over 2 times the bracket of r plus 5 times bracket of r plus 3. So when we simplify, we have r squared plus 3r plus 5r plus 15 all over 2, which is also equal to r squared plus 8r plus 15 all over 2. Now, let us call this equation 1. Next, we have to find the value of r. For us to find out the value of r, we have to use Pythagoras theorem. Now, Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. In our triangle, we have AC squared equals to BC squared plus AB squared. So when we substitute the values, we have A squared equals to the bracket of R plus 5 squared plus the bracket of R plus 3 squared. So we are going to have 64 equals to R squared plus 25 plus 10R plus R squared plus 9 plus 6R, which will also give us 64 equals to 2R squared plus 16R plus 34. 2 is common in both sides here. So we write it out like this. 2 times 32 equals to 2 bracket r squared plus 8r plus 17. 2 will be cancelled. We are going to have r squared plus 
8 r plus 17 equals to 32. We move 17 to the right hand side. We will have r squared plus 8 r equals to 32 minus 17, which is also equals to r squared plus 8 r equals to 15. Now we move 15 to this side. We are going to have r squared plus 8 r minus 15 equals to 0. Now, if you look at the results we got here with our equation 1, you see that here we have a positive value in the equation 1 and in the in this place we have a negative value so what we are going to do is to try and make sure that we have a positive value here for us to have a positive value here let us introduce 30 to both sides of this equation so when we do that we are going to have r squared plus 8 r minus 15 plus 30 equals to 30. now when we Simplify, we have r squared plus 8r plus 15 equals to 30. Now, let us call that equation 2. So, if we take equation 2 and equation 1, we now have the same values here and here. So, next, we will substitute 30 in place of r squared plus 8r plus 15 in equation 1. Area of triangle ABC equals to 30 all over 2. So area of this triangle ABC equals to 15 square units. So finally, the area of this triangle is 15 square units. Kindly like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.